I would like to clarify my statement on the prisoners of war. I cannot say that each and every story that is uh, being told by prisoners of war is true or not. I wasn't there. I can say that I don't think that brutality uh, on anyone's part is justifiable. The lie that I have been speaking about, and which I continue to call a lie, is the thing that leads people like Congress, uh, that Councilman Arthur Schneider to say the, that the POWs have called attention to the inhumanity of the government of North Vietnam. If we look at what all the POWs are saying, we will see that it was not systematic policy, across the board's policy, of the North Vietnamese government to torture American prisoners of war. This has been made very clear by the prisoners themselves. There are as many POWs saying that, they, that the conditions were very difficult, that they endured hardships. Some of them don't have any complaints about the Vietnamese as those who say that they were tortured. Why has the Pentagon only focused on these few hand-picked senior officers in order to give the impression that the Vietnamese had a policy of torture, that they are bloodthirsty and brutal people? We should ask ourselves why. It is an orchestrated lie, orchestrated by the Pentagon, to make the American people hate the Vietnamese, to cut off any possibility of aid to Vietnam, and to pre prepare a Cold War type attitude that would perhaps lay the groundwork of future U.S. reinvolvement in, in Indochina.